Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I have something to review. Well, I don't know. You can't really call this a review. Uh, I received this uh, as a free product to take a look at. And you can't really do a review on something like that. But so first of all, let me tell you what this is. This is a an ESP32 display. This is a five inch display and it uses HMI. It has a touch screen. And on the back, you have you have an actual processor. It's right there. The ESP32 is right there. You have a number of uh, these are this is a, these two right here are GPIOD pins. This one uses something called a, it, it doesn't have the traditional you know the, the the pins that are you know like the 30 pin or or the 40 pin. Uh, GPIO headers that you normally see like on a Raspberry Pi, but it uses this and you, you just it's keyed so you plug it in and then you can pit, plug this into your project board and do whatever that you want to do with it. This one over here is a little bit different. It's more of a it's more of a it has four looks like four pins in it so it's meant to take a flat connector. This is your UART so this is your serial connection. You have two buttons here. One is the this outer one is for boot. This is for reset. And then you have a USB-C uh, connector here. This is your power and your upload port. This is a battery connection. This is the TF card or SD card if you prefer. And there is a uh, speaker connector here. So uh, let's talk a little bit more about the specs for it. So we've talked about some of the pins that are on it. It is the processor that makes this up is a ESP32 S3 dash W room, and this is the one N4R8 version of that processor. Both the seven uh, ver inch and this one, the five inch, both have that higher end processor. The they they make this board in 2.5 all the way up to seven inch. But when you go down from this one, they you get lower performance processors. So uh, this is a, a dual core, a 32-bit. This is an LX6. Uh, it, is, it is running at 240 megahertz. Uh, the display is 800 by 480. This is compatible both with Arduino and there is a library called uh, the LVGL, and we'll talk more about that. So it is compatible with both of those standards. Uh, and there is also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on the board, on this board. Now, now that's not true of all of them. So you'll need to pay attention to the specs on whatever board you're looking at. You can do your development on the Arduino IDE. I have successfully compiled code with the latest one. You can also use ExpressF. Uh, IDE. There's also Lua, Artos, and you can use MicroPython with this as well. Um, but then there's also the LVGL graphics library that you can use to do your uh, graphical displays. One thing I will tell you, there's a, and we'll look at that, but there's a product from Squareline that is free to use for as long as you want. They have a they have a, a trial that you can get, which is full featured. And then when this trial ex expires, you'll need to create a login. And then you can continue using it as the community edition. That's pretty typical with a lot of these, uh, these types of software that you can. There's a, a, a developer license that goes now. Let me, the community license is for non-commercial use. It's for development. It allows you to learn the board, learn how to use it, but you can't use any of the code for in there for to resell. The uh, developer package has uh, commercial uh, rights in it as well, and it offers additional capabilities. There's also an enterprise version, so if you have multiple people that are doing development, you can buy your licenses, I presume, at a discount. What can you use this for? Well, what's some of the use cases? Well, obviously, you, you this this would fit in a thermostat type of a situation in a home, uh, it's or a business. This would also work automotive as an automotive display. 
Maybe you're wanting to bring out some uh, critical functions of the engine that you can then see on your dash. Uh, medical equipment, it could be used there. Uh, there's also industrial control. Uh, there's power applications for this, managing power, and also civil uh, electronics. There's home automation. You can also use it as a GPS. Uh, energy and also, of course, Internet of Things. Uh, can be done with this as well. I'm going to I'm going to leave a link to the spec sheet because it, if I put it up here it'll look like an eye chart and we won't be able to see it. But I will highlight a few things. So both the model 5, the 5 inch and the 7 inch have PS RAM and they have 8 megabytes worth of it. So why why would you want that? PS RAM allows you to load those programs into memory and then you can recall them from there. So it's a lot faster, obviously, than trying to run from the from the TF card. The next step down, the four and a half, also has PS RAM, but only two megabytes worth. The rest of the ones, all the way down to two point five inches, they don't have PS RAM at all. So yeah, you might that might be a consideration if that's of interest to you in your application. Uh, the prices for this run on the from the two point four for about. $13.93 at the time I'm doing this video, up to the version 7, which is $30.03. And then this one is about $27.93. The 5-inch is about $27.93. Now you'll want to look at their website to confirm those prices. So where am I with this? So I'm not going to do, I'm not going to attempt to do a demo. So I am in the process of learning this. I've had this for a month. I've been able to work with it for about a week, maybe two, almost two now. So if you go to the, the where it says shop and pick a product, if you scroll down, you'll start to see uh, listings for examples and documents. And yeah, they have a full set of schematics for every one of the boards. They have, there's documentation uh, that they have for this board for the LVGL. And of course, LVGL also has their own documentation that you can read through as well, which is where I'm at right now is perusing through all of that. So there's a lot of things to, I mean, for me, the, I'm kind of in that fog of the learning curve where I'm, I'm not sure what to learn next, but I'm just following the progression that was laid out for me by one of the manuals so and, and just going through some of the getting started examples starting to become familiar with the uh, Arduino IDE now <clears throat> originally uh, their advice was to use the the version 1 and and uh, and and that works yeah that will work but I wanted to try the LVGL and, and you need to use the ver the the latest version of the uh, Arduino uh, IDE for that. At least that's what I have found. It's just my unfamiliarity with the Arduino code base. So yeah, this is one of the things that was on my bucket list to learn. And I wanna thank Electro for sending me this and letting me have an opportunity to fill one of my bucket list items. I have, I have some things I wanna do with this. I'd like to be able to transmit data to this over the over Wi-Fi, and and have it show status of my servers uh, on the on the back back there, and so I can see kind of what's going on with it. And yeah, that's what I would like to use it for. So uh, I'll be back because I'm going to come back, and when I master the development process, I will show you what I have accomplished with it. So. But I, I don't feel like I'm ready to do that yet, you know, unless unless the demo you want to see is just turning the screen on, because that's as far as I've gotten with the LVGL stuff <laughs> so far. So, yeah, I'm working through it, working through it. That's that's the like step one. That's like the baby step, step one into LVGL. So I've progressed through all of the all the, uh, the examples leading up to LVGL. Now I've gotten to the one where, all right, let's see if the screen will come on and then we'll start adding stuff to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And thank you to my Patreons. Thank you for your support. Thank you also to my channel members. I sure appreciate you. 
and thank you for watching the video. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.